Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to A Libra's Way. We are going to be doing the Fall Equinox energy discussion and reading. So uh, before we get into any of this, I will just say I'm not claiming any terms or wording. However, just know you heard it here first because I have a very strong feeling that other psychics are going to stop, talk about this same type of energy in the coming weeks uh or after they after you guys see my video so you will be seeing the date that it is posted and you know the message that i heard incredibly strong in my head and after coming across some synchronistic um situations was this the best is yet to come for people who thought that their life was over because of a big event that changed everything for them, your time is coming. If you're watching this and you feel moved by the words, the best is yet to come, you are meant to be part of this particular movement that is coming for this major group, a part of the collective. For those of you who haven't seen your day in the spotlight, meaning you might have gotten small little rewards, you might have gotten, you know, little tokens of gratitude from people or from the universe, just to show that you've, you know, that you're still going and proving yourself to be uh, worthy. That's not your true gift, okay? What I'm hearing is that the people who have been shunned from the opportunity to advance, meaning they got kicked down after pushing and pushing and pushing, the best is yet to come with the tower card here. This is telling us, this is Scorpionic energy, Scorpio season energy, but this is also divine intervention. I was watching a movie, it's very divine energy, this fall equinox, you guys. This Q3 equinox feels like it is going to be very powerful these coming months. Very powerful energy is going to start showing itself. So be prepared. The best is yet to come. The best is yet to come for all of the people who people undermined. The people that said no to you. The people that rejected you, you know, who, you know, if you saw that and you felt that energy, it's for you. The people who didn't deserve what they got, but they got it anyways. I'm hearing time's up. The best is yet to come. All of the work that you've been putting in, chipping away, trying to acquire your little things here and there to get you to a place where you could finally feel at home, at peace with yourself, with your, with your surroundings, with your friends, with your workplace with your finances, with your relationships, with your family, friends, and lover. All that was hidden is coming to light. We know this. The lunar eclipse and solar eclipse are coming soon after the fall equinox, you guys. The fall equinox is going to be a powerful turning point 
and how we shape society, I'm feeling strongly that what we do now will set the precedent for the coming three years in particular. The best is yet to come. And they want me to keep saying it over and over again. They want me to keep reiterating those words and speak them into existence as part of this, essentially a mantra. When you hear me say the words, the best is yet to come, say it with me. The best is yet to come. Say it again. The best is yet to come. They're telling me to say this and that you guys need to say it out loud rewind this part of the video and say it again the best is yet to come we have the ten of pentacles that showed everything that you ever could have wanted comes rushing in comes rushing in to your vicinity comes rushing in for your abundance to finally be accepted, respected, and seen by the world. The world sees you and acknowledges you for who you are. The world wants to see wants to see the force that you are to be reckoned with. For those of you who individually feel that this is meant for you, that this energy is meant for you, your time will come. Integrity is here. This is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot deck. Integrity, an owl resembling wisdom. A cheetah resembling strength and speed. A woman revealing herself resembling the ego being put to the side in order to accept the abundance from the opportunities of a lifetime that want to come in. What was once dark comes to light. February to March. What was once darkness, what was once sitting in the shadows behind the scenes, playing with your mind, playing with your heart, playing with the collective's heart, mind, and soul. It's coming. coming in swiftly. Those who are meant to see the destined path, the fated path for them, they will. Remember, you have the opportunity to change your life every day. You have the opportunity to choose a life based on a path that you take. Be wise with what you choose. But also remember that the opportunities presented to you are rare. And when they do come around and they feel different from all of the other general opportunities you might have faced, meaning you feel something is 
different about that one opportunity that you were offered? Are you going to be the person that sits back and lets it pass you by because you have to think about it? Or are you going to choose that path as your destiny? Well, the best is yet to come, but the best can only come from your decision your choice the lover's card here reminds us we have a choice the divine has always provided us with a choice whether it was a choice that we anticipated or not the choice was inevitable the choice was preordained the choice was here all along so don't take that opportunity for granted when you see it how many times do you connect with someone that you meet naturally there are only a handful of times that you get in this lifetime to find the right person to take that shot that opportunity that comes once in a lifetime maybe it comes four or five times in a lifetime but sometimes it is only once it might be twice Maybe three times if you're lucky. The Holy Trinity. The Holy Grail. The choice that either places you in favor or with less. When we see this card, although there is divine presence with the angel wings, we also see the all-seeing eye, we see the Holy Trinity, we see the blood coming from the wound from the sword, the injury Knowing that there is always a price for whatever choice you make, but learning to live with that price. This is pretty deep, you guys. Um, but this is the fall equinox energy reading. <sighs> a decision. To turn your back from the opportunities that come through like waves in a tsunami almost feels like you shouldn't turn your back on the tsunami you need to face the tsunami for what it is you need to face your truth. You need to face the fact that you're, you're hiding by telling you and everyone else that no one is good enough when in fact, what you're really doing is protecting yourself, shielding yourself from Making a choice that is wrong. The choice to change your life. 
will that life that you choose inevitably be better or worse than the one that you believed it to be? The Queen of Water and the Twins. Balance, destruction is on its way in. Burning embers is what I'm hearing. <sighs> this is deep, you guys. Um, the best can't come when you put everything on hold. And when you constantly use your puppet strings to control the narrative and outcome. What is, will be, regardless of what happens. It's okay to trust even when trust places you in a situation where it's not as favorable to you because it means that you have not accepted the lesson for what is You can't accept the lesson for what is. You can't accept the best that will come. You can't accept your turn when it comes because you won't accept all that it comes with because all that it comes with includes a price. Listen to that over again. Edgar Allen. Here we go. A new and improved person. Weeping over the sorrows, weeping over the sorrows that they faced. Coming to a much better place, though. The fall equinox will transform a lot of the collective. They'll realize that remaining humble and silent throughout this period prior to or after, soon after, the fall equinox is the best time to reflect, remain humble, sit down, and reflect and be quiet. Don't always have to announce your every move. You don't always have to announce your pain. You don't always have to announce your revival. The Seven of Swords, deception, deceit. Humility will serve many of you right with the Seven of Swords here. Speak more than you should, reveal your next steps sooner than you should and betrayal will be in the cards for you don't tell everybody about where you're hoping to be when you're hoping to be there why you're hoping to be there don't share your location don't share 
everything about who you are for the world to judge you. Only God can judge you. The Ace of Pentacles, yet again. A new opportunity. The Shining Star. The Rising Shining Star comes in and changes everything. The Chariot, she cannot become the Chariot. She cannot become this renewed woman, this renewed individual. Until she receives the Ace of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. Although heartbreak was inevitable, there is a chance to turn that around. Although darkness looms amongst your past, the collective's past, the new moon is offered here, a new token of gratitude, a gift, a small gift, a potential opportunity to re-energize a connection. I'm hearing, but the fates have it. The fates. The fates have removed the one that just never saw what you needed them to see about you. The contract has completed with that person. He's tired and weary, but it was time to let go. It was time to let go of this man it was time to let go of the woman. It was time to let go of trying to manipulate the scales to balance the way that you wanted them to. It is important to know how to control many outcomes, but there is the potential for an imbalance in outcomes. Because too much overindulgence in one side or way of things can interfere with your life course. Be careful. Don't get too many readings from people about love. You will delay it. You will delay your destined path if you continue to try too hard to manipulate the outcome. What has been meant for you will be meant for you. But Again, protect yourself. Everything in moderation. Everything. Thank you for tuning in to Libra's Way. This was your fall equinox energy reading for 9-21-21. 2022-936. Have a great rest of your day and see you in the next quarterly reading. Bye guys!